Welcome to lesson 3.2. This is all about the file type operator, which is another operator a little bit like the site colon operator that we learned about in the last lesson. Both of these operators allow you to take all these millions of results and hone in on exactly the kind of result you want after you do your search. So where site colon allowed you to say, let's look inside this site, the file type operator says, let's find files of this particular type. As you know, most web pages are HTML or HTM files. That is, those are the regular pages that get rendered on your browser. But there's lots of other files with different file types out there. And in this lesson, you can use file type as a way to get just those files. PPT files, XSL files, KML files, DAT files, you name it. You can use file type to get to it. Let me show you how. So in Google, you can just go ahead and search for something, say, say, the Lewis and Clark expedition, like that. And now I want to find, say, a KML file. Now a KML file, or also known sometimes as a KMZ file, is a file type that you can then import into Google Maps or into Google Earth and allows you, for example, to see the path of the expedition. So I say file type like this, okay, KML, see that there? Search for that, and I get about 195 different results. These are all KML files. So if we start scrolling down, you'll see these are all KML, see that? So if I click on one of these, it's going to download the file. So I'll click, and you see on the bottom, it's downloading that file. So now I can go to, for example, Google Maps. So now I'm going to search on Google for Google My Maps. This is kind of a special purpose version of Maps that allows you to create your own map. I'm going to create a new map by starting up My Maps. I'm going to create a new map. And then, see this here? I'm going to import that KML file that we just found. Select a file, and I'm going to use this KML file that we discovered. Now this is uploading all these place marks and the path. And when it renders, you'll see this path across North America, which is all the different places they went. It's only half the expedition because they actually came back, but you get the idea. The key idea is that the file type operator allows you to say, well, just give me PDFs, or just give me docs, or just give me KML files. So that's the pattern. You say query terms, file type, colon, whatever. In this example here, we're saying just search for California Condor PDF files. Let me show you one more example to cement this. I can go to Google and say I want to find a list of birds in California or wherever. I can say list of birds, file type. Now I can say, well, what's a data file? Um, maybe a DAT file, DAT like that. That's one kind. If we search that, we'll see lots of different lists of birds that are called DAT files. But suppose I want to say DAT or, I use the capital OR here because lowercase doesn't work, capital OR, file type, or CSV or comma separated variables. This is another data file type. So now I've got a longer set of results, which are either CSV or DAT files. They're all filtered boiled down by this file type operator. And of course, you can combine this with a site colon operator if you wanted to. So for example, I could add site colon dot edu. Now this will find only CSVs or DAT files at an edu site. And now here you go. You've honed in exactly on the kind of result you want. So this is a great trick to know. It allows you to specify the kind you want and if you want to combine it with a site operator, where you want that result to come from. It's a fabulously powerful trick. It's probably the most used operator, well, at least in my experience. Between site and file type, that's 99% of what I use. Hope you enjoy it. Go ahead and click on the next activity and see what you can do.